Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome to some more indie horror. This is the Lancaster Leak O'Brien State Park. Now, there's a couple of games actually by this name. There's this one, and then there's one called the Lancaster Leak uh, Crisis at Call Centre. Now, you just saw, obviously, there was a disclaimer at the start there, epilepsy warning. So, this will contain flashing lights and visuals, as you can actually see on the screen right in front of you at this moment. Uh, but basically, as you can tell, this has a very VHS analog retro style of horror it's that kind of i guess it's kind of like that found footage sort of thing and apparently it's only short maybe 15 to 20 minutes ish there or thereabouts so yeah i'd be interested in actually playing this and uh, seeing what it's like and probably playing the other one as well so without further ado let's just go and play let's uh enter whatever tape we've got here the following tape and many others were recovered by fbi intern valerie bardo and given to us okay Valerie Bardo, leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster, CA. Oh. Taken, that said. Foul play is suspected. Okay, something demonic, no doubt. So, CA, uh, which state is that? As long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. I gave you a chance, and this will be your last. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, which state is CA? Is that California? FBI warning. Information conveyed through this debrief training tape pertains to a prior investigation. It's imperative that agents refrain from viewing this material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are under the direct supervision of an instructor. Any failure to comply will result in prosecution to the fullest extent possible under the Espionage Act 1917. You have been warned. <laughs> okay. It's coming. Okay, it looks like it. Oh, case number 129876. Tape purpose debrief. Date 25th of August 88. Clearance TS, case type missing persons, entity present, status resolved. Okay. O'Brien State Park, picture of one, previously inhabited by both Dakota and Ojibwe tribes, is now home to year round camper and hikers. The park, along with other state parks up north, has experienced an increase in animal like attacks. The cause was unknown until found footage of missing persons at Brady Kaufman provided the Bureau with evidence of what was committing the attacks. Okay. Brady Kaufman, picture two. On August 25th, 88, Brady, 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. Subject's behaviour during his visit was unusual, as he intermittently started recording at various times. Medical records reveal no history of mental health concerns. Subsequently, on August 26th, subject was reported missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order, accompanied by annotations. <laughs> okay, I think this is like a sort of walking sim type horror, this one. At least that's what it says. We'll see. Oh, and <laughs> that came up again. Oh, hello, hello, hello. All right. So, yeah, it's got that very analog look to it. Now, yeah, this is what it'll no doubt look like. 10 p.m. subject initiated recording. The reason for their sudden recording activity remains unknown. Okay. Subject would occasionally zoom on certain objects. Okay. That's, that's actually quite a good way of doing a tutorial. So it's a recovered tape, and the FBI investigators have put their own annotations over it. So hang on, let me check. What controls do I have? I do have a crouch, like that. I do have a jump, little one. I don't think I have a sprint, though, by the looks of it. So i got my special zoomy eyes. Now, like that. Okay. So we just go wandering through the woods, maybe? In this direction, perhaps? 10pm, the subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. Wait. Bathroom over here? Do we just follow the instructions, then? Or... Can we disobey? I mean, I'm just following them at the moment, as I feel like that's what it's telling me to do. I'm just wondering if it's one of those games where something different will happen if you don't do what the prompt tells you. Or maybe... Hmm. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe you can't really do that. Maybe the game will be like, nah, you shouldn't do that. Okay, this is a different campsite. Oh, we can't go there, there's an invisible wall. Yeah, there's definitely no sprint. <laughs> I'm sorry. Someone stop that car then. Or stop that car alarm rather. Well, that was weird. Okay. 
It's all right. It's just a car alarm, ladies and gentlemen. Shouldn't be anything too spooky now, should it? Oh, there's another campsite off over here. What's that? Okay, there's like... Yeah, there's like invisible walls to stop you wandering off the path. I think we're going in the right direction. I mean, it said go right, and I went right, so... Right. Where does this road go? I feel like if this wasn't the way I was meant to go, it probably would have blocked me. Stopped me going. Okay, this might be where we're going. Possibly. I mean, there's nothing really to see on the signs. Is this the bathroom? Oh. Is this where the showers are located? Maybe? Ah. This looks like showers, alright. Can't go in that one. Well, this looks better. Ah. Character turned off the flashlight. I must say, I've never been camping before in my life. Ooh. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Is that... Oh, look at these little shower cubicles. I get it. I thought it was just like a little alcove over here. I'm guessing uh, those ones are occupied, so I go in... Oh, I go into that one, I guess. Pause one. Subject stops filming and then takes a shower. It's estimated ten minutes elapse before the subject films again. Subject returns to the campsite. Okay. Just go back, I guess, then. Do as we are requested. Oh, God. Jesus, FPS took a hit when I was looking over there, then. It's a little below 30 at the moment. It's alright, it's just a flushing toilet. That's okay. Well, at least I turned my torch back on. Yeah, the FPS is sort of stabilising about 30, 40-ish. Well, back the way we came, I guess. Assuming I can, I can find my way back. It shouldn't be too hard, though, should it? It's just a straight road. Just follow it fast, past the first couple of campsites. Turn in at number three or whatever. Okay. <laughs> I do always, um, I do find myself enjoying these kind of found footage style horror games with the, you know, the VHS analogue aesthetic to them. They're always quite interesting. Now, are we going to see anything as we come back? That's the question. Or is something going to happen? Ah, it's just an animal. That's nothing. That's nothing to be concerned about. Who knows, maybe it's a coyote. Or a cougar. Oh god, I thought was... Jesus. What is that? Oh, it's just the way the... God, it's just the way the friggin' plants are moving. God, I saw that and I thought something was coming over that ridge at me. Oh, this is mine, isn't it? Uh, Is that a figure? Who? Are you? Okay, you look like a person, at least. Hmm? Pause two. Picture three, unknown suspects. Upon return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the sub subject's tent. Now, the campground records records no witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Why this person was here on, or who they are, still remains unknown, but is not being actively pursued. Okay. The largest jump of time happens at this point, with an estimate of one to two hours' time elapsed. Recording resumes with the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. Huh? Okay. Oh. Well, where the heck are we now? Are we going up? No, we can't go up, can we? We're going down then, it looks like. Down the slopes. Okay, frame rate down to about 30, but that's fine. Never mind, it's just dipped a little below. I guess it's just an optimization thing. We had a similar issue with the complex expedition, where for some reason in areas the frame rate would just dip. I mean, fortunately this one's not dipping by too much. It's still watchable. Whereas in the complex expedition I had points where it was dipping below 20 frames a second. Which was not ideal. Don't know why that was. It reminded me of the olden days before I had my beefy PC. I was just playing on a budget desktop. Trying to play Alien Isolation at <laughs> freaking 15 frames. <laughs> oh boy. Those olden days, ladies and gentlemen. If I should be sort of looking around into the undergrowth, that's the thing. Hmm? Is that a hog? A boar? I don't know. Let's keep going up the trail. So the thing is, we were in uh, the dead of night before, 
And this was obviously a couple of hours later. So this must be like the freaking middle of the night or something. That's strange. So, yeah, like I said at the start, there's two games called the Lancaster Leak. So I'm kind of curious if the dev plans to make more of these. Oh, God. Jesus, just the way the plants move like that is very unsettling. It's like they're being stirred by a breeze or something. <gasps> okay. It's a moose, it's a moose, it's fine, it's fine. That's what we were hearing, not a boar. Well, he's pretty boring. <laughs> he only ever talks about boring topics. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hello. What's this up here? Am I seeing something through the tree line? Or is that just the graphics? It might just be the graphics. Damn. That's a very interesting aesthetic, though. Coming up to a stream? Oh, yes. We are indeed. Guess we go across the bridge then, right? Haven't been any prompts at the bottom of the screen just yet. Well, no, no further ones, I should say. Ah, it's just another animal. Of course it is. Instead of night, nocturnal predators will be on the loose. The coyotes are on the prowl. Oof. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the old Slender games, this. Just, you know, being in a forest in the dead of night. God, is it going to be Slender Man? Is he going to pop out with his big tentacles? He's going to be like, ha-ha, long time no see, ladies and gentlemen. You thought I was a dead dead horror villain after 2012 or whatever? No, joke's on you. I'm still around. I'm still alive and kicking in the woods. Creeping on people. Creeping on campers. Leaving weird notes scattered everywhere. Oh, hello. You are a bit torn apart, aren't you? The deceased deer was killed by Entity. Okay, but what's the Entity? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time to cut out. Picture four deceased deer, pause three. Subject encountered diseased deer attacked by entity. The film abruptly ends after subject detects an entity in vicinity. Subject exhibits distress and flees off the trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. Okay, so I'm assuming what comes next is the final bit. Are we going to see the entity? Subject is audible for the first time, displaying emotions of fear. Oh god, where the hell am I? I'm just in the woods now. Oh, I can actually run now. The subject begins running as multiple sounds of entities surround him. Oh god. I think we just have to run. Oh god, there's an invisible barrier over there, apparently. Go this way. Yeesh, what is it? Is it an animal? Is it something supernatural? <laughs> this is a really interesting uh, little horror game, this. Ooh. Sounds like they're getting nearer. Just go. Ooh. I hear that. Oh, fuck. Oh, I hear you. Oh, I hear footsteps. Oh, that's very unsettling. Oh, he's going to pounce out on me. You behind me? Oh, fuck. I'm going. I'm just going. Yikes. Oh, <laughs> that's very well done. As creepy as hell that is. Oh, that forced me to turn around. Oh, God. I didn't even get a good look at what that was. <laughs> the subject struggles against entity but gets away. Camera is severely damaged. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, I can actually pause it. Oh. Subject drops flashlight and then camera. It creates a shadow backdrop. Subject will be to flame. God, that's loud. <laughs> Distant entities can be heard. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> So is that where it ends? End of tape. Brady, uh, Brady Kaufman's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. 
the footage ends when the camera battery runs out. <laughs> Subject autopsy, picture 5, death scene. Subject's remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. That's a spell mistake, it says consumed. <laughs> Little personal items remained intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Picture 6, tibia found 0.5 miles away. Ooh. Case relevant, subject's film was the first footage captured of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the bureau, let's just say bureau, that's misspelled, proof to extend funding in special operation to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity something programs. Entity debrief, picture 7, a Wendigo. ID S0012, risk severe, containability 3. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of like. Okay, Wendigos are creatures originated from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. These malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases. Tall and emaciated looking Wendigos bear antlers and possess an insatiable appetite for human flesh. Eee. According to recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo, and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CSIS to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of the species and eventual eradication. Picture 8 previously known areas. It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public in, uh, uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. <laughs> oh, is that it? Are we back to the main menu? Hey, there we are. Credits, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was the Lancaster leak. Oh, the story doesn't end here. Read the associated r slash no sleep story. Reddit icon in menu. I work as a secretary at a small FBI office. A man in a pink poncho almost killed me. Consider joining the Discord or newsletter to know the release of the next game. Okay. Crisis at Call Center, the second one, which we will play, because I do have it in my Steam library. Well, there you go. That was a decent little horror. Just a short little thing. Did what it wanted to do. Didn't need any more than that. But definitely had some creepy moments to it and some atmosphere. So, good job uh, to the devs there. He did a good job. I definitely will play the second one. Now, I was thinking, should I put this um, into my just generic indie horror playlist? Or should I actually create a dedicated playlist? I mean, there's only the two Lancaster Elite games, as far as I'm aware, this one and Crisis at Call Centre. So, maybe I'll put it into my indie horror playlist for now. But if any more of them do come out, maybe I will create a dedicated playlist for them. Who knows? I'll see. We'll see how I feel, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll stick around. We'll play the next one pretty much straight away. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It just had all the right sort of things there. Short, memorable, great sort of analogue horror visuals, atmosphere, spooky uh, moments, particularly towards the end there, where you could hear the uh, the monsters, but you couldn't see them. So, good job. Facebook and links down below, along with the links to my propagandist channel for anyone interested, and if you enjoyed, a like is of course always appreciated. More than that, I am signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. Oh no. Oh hell. What? What the hell? Holy crap. Boyd. Sorry, I'm paraphrasing Phil. What the hell is this? This is like a British motorway. This is spooky. This, right, this is definitely the car crash. Except we're like underwater. Damaged car there, there's one over there. Is this between Sanford and the welcome brakes? What's that say? Services, yeah. <laughs>